Hey there guys and welcome back to another video. In this series I'm going to be recording many different videos based on uh, Python for beginners. So all the tutorials are basically going to be really easy and basic to follow and they're perfect if you want to get started with Python and want to create programs. So in this particular tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to output data, store variables and some other stuff. So to begin with I'm going to go into the folder I created, um, Python for beginners and I have a Python file here. So, in the Python file, I have nothing written. First of all, what I'm going to tell you guys is if you want to write a comment that wouldn't be executed in Python, all you have to do is type in a hashtag. Comments are something that um, other people that would read your code would use to understand what your code is doing. So, you could do a hashtag and say, this line will output hello world to the screen. And then also you could uh, so this indicates that the line that you type next to it would print hello world to the screen in Python if you want to execute anything or I'll put that to the screen what you do is use the word print and then you also need brackets and quotation marks within within the brackets so anything between the brackets and the quotation marks will be executed to the screen so we can say hello world and then when you press F5 and press OK it should execute hello world to the screen. Um, the same goes for blank lines. If you want to leave a blank line, all you need to do is type in print, brackets, quotation, and don't type in anything inside. You can also type in another hello world here. And then if I execute that, it should have a line between hello world and the other hello world. So that's the basics of how to print anything or output anything to the screen. So we might first pro what we want to do is give the program a title that will do by saying welcome to uh, our very first Python program we can do that and then I also want to tell you guys about inputs in Python and variables so how variables and inputs work are basically when you for example, I will create a variable called name. Anything before and equals could be called as a variable in Python. So name equals input. So we need to take an input from the user. The input type is going to be string. String is any characteristics apart from, and it also includes numbers. But for numbers in specific, we need to use the integer one. For now we're just going to work with input string and then we'll, inside this we need to type in our query to the user. So we'll say please enter your name, oops I can't type today. And then when we run this query nothing's going to happen but all it's going to do is what we've set up here. So it says, welcome to our very first program. And then it says, please enter your name as we've done here. So any name that we insert in here, for example, if I type in Johan, it will say nothing for now, but it's stored in the variable type name. So for example, if I type in name here, the name Johan will come up because it's saved into the variable name. That's how variables work in the simplest form. So what we want to do is copy this line of comment and put it down here. And then here we can say this line gathers the input from the user. Okay, so we have our program nicely annotated. What we want to do next is um, we're going to print the name comma welcome to the program so what that would do is it will print whatever name that is printed and we need a comma to separate it from the normal text so we take that comma and then we type in the normal text that we want so the name that is entered here will come up here and next to it will read the text saying welcome to the program we're just going to test this by tapping clicking OK and 
as we see in here it says please enter your name I'm gonna enter my name yeah there we go it says my name and welcome to the program anyway guys that was it for today's tutorial um hope this has helped you out please make sure to drop a like comment and subscribe for more in the next tutorial i'm going to be showing you more basic stuff but for today's tutorial that was it see you in the next one peace out